Cooks have a bad habit of categorizing raw cuts of beef as either tender or tough, when in reality the nature of the cut itself is really only part of the picture. How a steak is cooked and to what final internal temperature will greatly influence tenderness, as will how you slice it. Now, cutting matters not only at the butcher shop, but also at home, and especially when it comes time for carving. The most important consideration? Whether you cut with or against the grain, or orientation of the muscle fibers. Cutting with the grain means slicing parallel to the muscle fibers, and against means slicing perpendicular. Now this is crucial with steaks like skirt, hanger, and flank, which have wide muscle fibers, a relatively high proportion of connective tissue, and clear longitudinal grain. Now to quantify how much of an influence carving direction has on tenderness, we ran an experiment. We cooked a flank steak, and for comparison purposes, a section of strip loin, which is where we get New York strip from. Now it features thin muscle fibers and little connective tissue. We put them in a temperature controlled water bath and cooked both into an internal temperature of 130 degrees. We then used an ultra sensitive piece of equipment called a CT3 texture analyzer from Brookfield Engineering to test how much force was required to bite into the meat. We tested this both when the meat was carved with the grain and when it was carved against the grain. And we found that a slice of flank steak carved against the grain took on average 383 grams of force to bite 5 millimeters into the meat while flank carved with the grain required an average of 1,729 grams to travel the same distance. In other words, it took four times as much force for the machine to bite steak sliced with the grain versus sliced against. Now that's a huge difference. All cuts will benefit from slicing against the grain, but it really pays to execute the step correctly when dealing with cuts from the flank. And while most cooks would argue that flank is much less tender than the expensive strip steak, that's not necessarily true. When we compared both steaks sliced with the grain, we found that flank was indeed 193% tougher than strip. However, when we compared the two steaks sliced against the grain, that number dropped to just 16%. Our tasters' comments closely mirrored this data, and that's why flank, when properly prepared, can rival premium steaks that cost significantly more. This is the science of good cooking.